to go from Bobardi and show up, up here with all of you here. I got here because so many people believed and didn't take no for an answer. I wasn't supposed to be the person here. At least that's what I was told. For my members, I don't like being told no. I'm going to play a game today. I'm going to count the number of times that someone describes Christina as unconventional. I think we're already up to two or three. Um, Christina is going to be an unconventional assembly member, just as she was an unconventional candidate. Christina is someone who always speaks her mind, and we're happy to have that in Sacramento. She served as an inspiration to me throughout the campaign because no matter how tired I was, uh, I, would see, I would see her come in in her crutches, and I would think, I need to, I need to try harder. I need to make sure that I'm, that I'm trying as hard as I can because obviously with, with all that she had going on, um, the fact that she was there and working hard made me want to work harder. And as a member of the assembly, I know she's going to serve uh, that same role to make sure that, that all of us are, are on, on task and that we're working hard. Just take a minute and look around the room. This room is such an amazing reflection of community. And to have this be the place that brings all of the community together as we celebrate Christina's leadership and realize it was the result not just of what Christina did, not just of the great efforts of her family, but of everybody here who came together as a community to express what they wanted in a leader and to express what they thought was possible when we come together. Assemblywoman Garcia, along with 37 of her colleagues, uh, marked the largest new class of assembly members in decades, in generations, in fact. And they've taken office at a crucial time of transition for our state. The work we've done together with Governor Brown has brought an end to uh, more than a decade of budget deficits and instability. The policies that we've put forward that have helped California's businesses recover and create jobs for Californians. And the reforms passed by the voters have ensured that the legislature can do the hard work of planning and preparing for the next great era of California's history. And more importantly, we've done so by bringing people from both parties and from every background and every walk of life together to find solutions for our challenges. Thank you for being here. Thank you for this journey. Don't leave me. I'm going to need you by my side to pick me up on a regular basis and get it done. It's an honor to serve among so many great people. It's an honor to be here with the community. And I was sworn in back in December, but it's really important to me that we came back here and we had a celebration with all of you, and I got to celebrate all of you before we started the hard work. And so one more time, know that you're important and you're here with me, and I'm not doing this alone. Thank you.